Tracy's Place fam, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make antibacterial wipes for your kitchen and surface areas. You only need two ingredients and you should have them on hand and that is dishwashing liquid and alcohol. So let's get started. All right guys, so before we get started with the solution, we're going to go ahead and cut this paper towel in half. And normally you want to, and you can do this with this container as well, of course, measure to see how tall you want your paper towels. This is going to measure halfway anyway, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And with a sharp serrated knife, we're going to go ahead. And the easiest way is to cut it one way without dragging it back and forth too much. You will do that, but you most want to just go one way. And once you get it cut in half, you want to go ahead and turn one half of it on its side. You want to kind of pull at the center cardboard piece. Sometimes you have to stick your finger down in there a little bit. You can do it this way. Some people do it after they get saturated with the mixture, but it's very easy to just pull out the center. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that into our container. And it fits real easily in there. You can get these from the grocery store or the Dollar Tree. Okay, and to make this solution, you guys, what you're going to do is add one cup of 99% a sulfur alcohol and you can use 90% but I wouldn't go too much lower than that because it won't be as effective 99% is very effective so we're going to go ahead and use one cup of that to that we're going to add a half a cup of water and you all know my favorite dishwashing liquid is the palm olive lavender and lime. It smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one tablespoon of that into the water and the alcohol mixture. Now you can use any dish soap that you would like. Dawn is another that you could use and Dawn is good for grease. So you could use that, but we're gonna use and I want every single drop in there. We're gonna use the palm olive, lavender, and lime. And you're gonna go ahead and get that all mixed up. So we have that mixed up really well. Go ahead and put our container over and we're going to saturate it. Saturate the paper towel. Get it all in there. And we wanna go ahead and cover up the container. And you want to just kind of Move it back and forth, roll it, and get it saturated. And it pretty well is already, you can see it through the container. Want to let it soak in there really good. And you want to remove the top. And sometimes if you want, if you don't think it's saturated well enough, you can let it sit for a good five or 10 minutes because it will saturate the paper towel. You want to go in and find the middle. And remember, you guys, you want to use a good, sturdy paper towel that will not disintegrate on you. So this is a very good one. It doesn't have to be very expensive, but you want a sturdy paper towel. And uh, that way it won't disintegrate on you or fall apart when you're using it. So you want to just wipe off your area and not have it fall apart. And you are ready to disinfect and sanitize your kitchen table, your counters, and you can even use this for cutting boards and things like that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. So go and make your own. 
Also guys, to have antibacterial wipes on the go, you can use these Ziplocs. In the same manner, you go ahead and you make the solution with the paper towel, and then you put the paper towel in this Ziploc, and you can take these on the go. And it's a great thing to have. It's much cheaper than buying the wipes, and the baggie keeps them moist. And you can put them in your purse, your backpack, or whatever you're gonna carry them in.